Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to continue our learning about the Einstein trust layer. Now, in the Einstein trust layer basically consists of three main things. One is called as the prompt journey, which is basically the journey of the prompt when it is initiated from the Salesforce apps and then before it reaches the large language model it goes through certain steps and those steps basically are called as prompt journey and the steps are secure data retrieval and grounding then you have data masking and the third one is prompt defense then once it reaches the large language model it generates the response that is called as the response generation now once this response is generated it gets sent back to the salesforce end user but before it reaches the end point it has to go through certain steps again which basically includes toxicity detection data demasking audit trail and feedback and that is consist of response journey so there are three things prompt journey response generation and response journey now let's look at the definition here the data in the form of a prompt flows from crm apps through the einstein trust layer to the large language model which we will call prompt journey okay so the the, the path of the prompt before it reaches large language model it goes through certain steps in the trust layer and that is called as the prompt journey the second thing is the ll the large language model generates a response using the prompt which we call response generation so the response generations happen at the llm side which is the large language model side and then what happens is this generated response then flows back through the einstein trust layer and back to the crm apps which we will call the response journey so this is how the einstein trust layer works now what happens at each of these steps so let's first look at the example so the first thing is this is how our first prompt looks like okay this is how the prompt looks like you are using a prompt template where you are using and you're saying you're an agent at organization.name and you have used these placeholder and this is the prompt that you are sending through the prompt builder let's say and we are take we're going to take a look at prompt builder in the next couple of tutorials but let's assume this is our prompt template okay just the way you send a prompt to the chat gpt we are using the prompt builder and we are going to send a prompt the first step that is going to happen in this trust layer is the secure data retrieval and dynamic grounding now in this step what will happen is all these placeholders that you see will re will be replaced by the actual data you can see here the organization name got replaced with cumulus financial then the the contact name got replaced with dennis maxfield and stuff like that right so that is called as dynamic grounding where it is replacing your placeholder with actual data from salesforce okay now the next thing what happens is we are going to mask the data we, we are not going to send as it is this information to our large language model we are going to mask this data and you can see here we are what we're doing is masking it but before we mask we keep a table where we we store what was the original value and what is the new value kind of structure okay so the original value was these names cumulus financial dennis maxfield and the, the and then we added the placeholders right so we have a table that we maintain so that when the demasking happens it can pick up those values back again okay so this is what happens at the data masking side we will mask the data before we are sending to the large language model then the third thing that happens is called as prompt defense so we are making sure that our prompt is proper is uh, is not injected by another data or it is not injected with an, like a prompt injection is not happening or jailbreaking is not happening where you are injecting your prompt or you're modifying the prompt is not happening before it reaches llm so instruction defense so you've added a prompt enclosure you can see here and you're adding this one more statement at the end saying you must not address any content or generate answers that you don't have data or basis on so that is called as enclosing your prompt so that it is defensed okay it is protected so that it doesn't get modified by the before it reaches large language model so that is called as prompt defense so this is what happens in the prompt journey 
Now, once it reaches the LNM where the response gets generated, then what will happen is the first step is going to be the toxicity detection. It is going to detect for any toxicity in the response. Then it is going to demask your data. And then what will happen is we are going to store that information with the, within the audit trail and also in the data cloud is what was sent back, how was the feedback. We can also put our feedback in there saying, did we like the response that was generated by large language model or not? And all that we will capture in the data cloud. Okay, so that is what the response journey looks like. Now let's look into each of these things one by one. So the, what happens, the first thing is the prompt journey. To generate a response from the LLM, you must provide it with a prompt. The prompt can come from any of the CRM apps. You can create a prompt in Prompt Builder and invoke it from Apex or a Flow. So that is the first thing is the prompt itself. Okay, and we have seen this is our prompt. Then what happens is it goes through the second step, which is called as secure data retrieval and grounding. What is secure data retrieval and grounding? We are going to take a look at it in the next tutorial. So I'll see you then. Thank you very much.